how many of you were ever in your anti-war work called un-American or unpatriotic? So, I think the tables have turned in terms of the general public perception of what's going on now. I was at a hearing where it was chaired by Carl Levin, some of you might know from the uh, Senate appropriations, and they were talking about spending another $33 billion for this war. Some of us snuck out of the hearing for a rally that was going on on the Capitol that were librarians. And the librarians were there saying, help, our libraries are in danger. We need the funds to keep the library open. We need the money to, to hire the librarians. And some of us had also just come back from the social forum. Raise your hand if you were at the social forum. Well, we know it, we were like shell-shocked after being in Detroit because that was like being in a war zone. So we go back in the hearing and there is Carl Levin saying that we got to spend another $33 billion for war. And some of us just couldn't contain ourselves anymore and said, that is downright unpatriotic and un-American. You are destroying this country. We need that money for our libraries. We need that money for our schools. We need that money to rebuild your city, Detroit. What are you doing? Bring those war dollars home. And that is the message that we have to get out loud and clear. And the country is ready for it. They are sick and tired of us spending all this money on bombing people overseas and creating more enemies instead of rebuilding America, which is the patriotic American thing to be doing. And so we need in our campaigns to find ways to make that message so visible. We need to go to these abandoned buildings in our communities and paint beautiful murals like this that say, end war, rebuild America. We need to put signs in our windows that say, funding the war is making us poor. We need to get out and dog these politicians. You know, August is going to be the hottest month on record. Let's make it really hot for those politicians, Democrat and Republican alike. Let's be out there saying to them, you are un-American if you are giving away our tax dollars to bomb people overseas. So, I want to just also touch on the issue of coalitions because that's where I think we are right now. We must be better at building coalitions and make our movement stronger. An example in Washington, D.C. that we did locally, Northrop Grumman, boo, wanted to bring its headquarters from Los Angeles into D.C. and the D.C. City Council passed a resolution that said they would give $20 million of D.C. taxpayers' money to lure them to Washington, D.C. We said, hell no, we created a coalition domestic needs group that said we need that money in D.C. We got people who were part of the fiscal responsibility groups that said, wait a minute, why are you giving money to a big corporation? We have the anti-war groups that says who the hell wants Northrop Grumman in D.C. anyway? And we have the small business community that said we need that $20 million for creating more jobs because small businesses create a lot more jobs than these big corporations. And guess what? We got the resolution overturned and Northrop Grumman is not moving to Washington DC with taxpayer dollars. We have a fabulous opportunity coming up that others will speak about in October 2nd. A wonderful chance for us to hook up with the unions, with the civil rights organizations, with the immigrant rights groups that really have the energy that we need for our movement. And that is a march on Washington to say jobs. And we say money for jobs, not for war. We have to be right in the center in that coalition. And finally, I want to say that, as you well know, this is not just about ending money for war. This is about ending money for empire. And that we have to bring the 800 plus bases that we have around the world that are draining our treasury, that are pissing off our allies, and they're creating more enemies. We have to close them down. That's part of rebuilding America. Close the bases, bring the troops home, Rebuild America, that is true patriotism. Let's go out and do it.